We love hard, we work hard, we play hard. That's what life is about. Loving who you're with and what you're doing. I couldn't ask for a better partner or a better husband. We're here with Octa Jam 2014. Octavius <laughs> and Jamal. You might know them from their extensive works in the fashion industry, mm -hmm. the entertainment industry. They got married on the Grammys. That was oh, a moment, right? That was That's a big deal. I feel like that was an awesome moment. I remember oh. sitting in the band. I cried. Crying. I cried. Like we I were cried. literally yeah. tearing up. Seeing that moment, it was just, it was wow. iconic, it was special, and... And this was before we met you guys. Yeah. Actually, we just met, we just met them this weekend, this weekend. so, yeah. so we've been we like, can't live without them. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been social media friends and friends in each other's head for a yes. long time. We finally met them, and the energy is great. It's I mean, just we've like just been enjoying our weekend, yeah. right? So we've seen so. more of you than... Right. Uh, well, yeah. well, well, we've been following y'all for... Absolutely. Even before we got married, and yeah. a lot of what y'all were doing was the inspiration for us to to be able to do it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, so, or the things he wasn't doing right, I was like, you better do it. <laughs> 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 you better ask for it. Yeah, ask for it. So, no, it's just, it's, it's really, really <laughs> Oh, that was great. you who sent that question <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, we've been, like, really yeah, uh, following you guys. So, it's just, a, it's, a, it's an honor to be here and absolutely. to be a part of, the, of this show. Yeah, yeah. It's it's every, all hours. Like, yeah. real friends. I yeah. know, yeah. real life now. Yeah. 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 So, let all the people know, how long have y'all been together? We've been together almost eight years. Almost eight yeah. years. Almost. And so how do you, you know, a lot of people say gay relationships, there's no longevity in it. Or it's just so hard. Everybody wants, the grass is greener syndrome is what I call it. Yeah. They're always out there searching. Yeah. Yeah. Is that your reality, number one? And yes or no. And how do you navigate it? Or what do you say to that person who has that outlook on gay relationships? Well, I, I think for both of us, we, we're both relation, relationship-oriented people. Mm -hmm. yeah. Both of our parents were, have been together. Uh, <laughs> so we, we, <laughs> we've seen relationships work. And, yeah. You know, even even if, even though it's a straight relationship. But when, when he says it, work, there is work, work. involved, too. Love you know work. Love yeah. work. Yeah. That, that's so <laughs> primitive. Hashtag. Love work. Yeah. Hashtag. Yeah. Hashtag yeah. love right. work. Okay. <laughs> so so we, we've been able to see you know, two people go through ups, go through downs, yeah. go through ins and outs, and, and, and how they navigate through those issues, we, we've seen them. And, oh, and, so, and they still together. So, I, like, like I said, when I was, uh, I've been in a relationship, prior to this one, I was in a relationship for 11 years, mm -hmm. and then this one is now almost eight. This one? <laughs> <laughs> this so one. The, the last the, one. The, 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 the love of my life came in after that. But yeah, you know what I mean? Like, he's, okay. he's here, and, and I, I feel like, you know, we were both on the same page as far as wanting to make a relationship work yeah. and just kind of knowing what it's going to take. And I think a lot of people buy into this fairy tale about mm -hmm. um, it's just going to be amazing all oh, yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. right. And it's just not amazing all the That's time. That's probably the number one misconception. Yeah. 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 It's all roses. Yeah. So to, yeah. to jump into this question, if you had to give, what do you think is really the one thing that really makes your relationship stand the test of time? What makes you guys really work? I think like what's the most important thing? Is I know I know it's, it's so cliche when you talk about communication. Everybody yeah. Says, oh, just the when I say communication, I mean he's my best friend. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's there's no there's no club I want to go to or any event or anything if he's not with me. Mm -hmm. We have fun together as best friends. So yeah, right. that, we right. can talk That's about important. we can talk yeah. about it's anything. Very important. And even in my 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 worst insecurities, I can tell him this mm -hmm. is my insecurity. He's so like, being vulnerable. Yeah, yeah, being vulnerable. And transparent. And transparent. Yeah. 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 Yes. Because yeah. sometimes you have to be transparent in all the time. Club. Like, you'd be like, wait a minute, now. I don't feel too good about this, but, right. but you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 
and I, and I think that in this in 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 any any lifestyle, you know, we we all get insecure. Some some people more than others, mm -hmm. and and I think that we have to be understanding that you know he might not be feeling this this yeah. hot tonight. You know, right. what yeah, I mean? right, right. right. We gotta you, make sure that we do that. Yeah. You do. You have to um, pick up off of yes. people's insecurities, yes. and then yes, you know, we always a lot of times I think people say, well. He might be doing something that's quote unquote wrong. Right. You know, that's not, he's the wrong one, so why mm -hmm. should I? Mm -hmm. But it's your job to help. Yeah. Because you know what? I have a weakness, and it's your job to pick you up where I'm weak. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? Okay. So that was a good point. Yeah. yeah. As a man, you got to be able to let your ego go because there's some things. Say that, that again. I, yeah. Let your ego go. That's, yeah. And I think that's the hardest lesson. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. there's some things that I, I, don't, I haven't even confronted with myself, but mm -hmm. he'll help me bring it to the forefront. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that's exactly what it is. But we've been, as men, we've been taught to hold a lot of stuff in. As men, in general, right. not gay men, just as men. Boys like, don't cry. Boys don't cry. Yeah. Oh, you don't, you don't I'm working show on an article that. about that too. Really? So yeah, yeah. boys right. don't cry. I yeah. think that plays a big part in our relationship because we're not able to let down those cards. Absolutely. Show yeah. that weakness, especially as gay men. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, I'm a yeah. cry. Yeah. He's a cry. He's a cry too. Okay. He's a cry too. I will oh. cry at the fucking drop of a dime. I mean, I'm going yeah. to cry. Yes. <laughs> he, he cries. Okay, so that leads me to another question. In a long-term relationship, or LTR, hashtag LTR. Oh, that's, that's what that means. Yeah, long-term relationship. Damn. I'm um, trying to figure out what that means. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Oftentimes, <laughs> our partners see us differently than we see ourselves. Yes. He, you say he's a crier. You yeah. say, I'm not a crier. That's good. He knows that. <laughs> How do you navigate that, being seen differently than you see yourself? Well, it's, like, it's kind of like it's what good. we talked about earlier. I know we, we let the world know what our conversations have been, but it's like the best thing about being in a relationship is that you get to, the, the partner gets to be a mirror for you. Mm -hmm. and they, get to be, they get to be verbal and mm -hmm. tell you, no matter who you think you are, your partner will say, this is who you are. Right. You're like, no, I ain't. It's mm -hmm. the worst. And the next day you're like, Oh, and you know what? And what's funny is to me when it bothers you so much, then you know what? You probably you are. Yeah. Oh no! So, so we just, just recently we had a big blowout. Yeah. We, uh, tell us more. Tell I, us I, more. I'm gonna try and do it really quick because I, I yeah, know we yeah. ain't got time. Right. right. We gotta go to commercial. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the sponsors that we need. Right. Right. Yeah. right. So, um, but uh, we were we were we were going we were arguing one day. And he said, you know, Jamal, you're you're this passive. Always say, man. You're, you're passive aggressive, and I'm like. That is such a horrible thing. Let to me tell you, he, to me, it sounds like two big contradictions: passive and aggressive. How can right. you be both? So he explained what it was. And no, I, I was, tried to explain. Tried, to him, and then I've he been telling him this forever, forever. Mm -hmm. like, I'm not passive aggressive. Blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, yeah, so he he walked, walked, you are. Yeah, he walked out of the room, and so I go online. So you this can is look what he it does. up. That's you what he does. When we get into he'll go and Google everything. So I Google it. Google it, and I'm reading it, in every line. Exactly what I do. <laughs> I mean, it's like, so I pull back from the desk. I'm so like, then he calls me back. And I'm, I'm like, like, why? Hey, come in here. Come in here. So then he says, he said, what do I need to do? Like, <laughs> How do I change this? Is it, like any, med is it any medicine? Or is it <laughs> <laughs> it's not a disorder. No, yeah, right. right. But, but that's what it feels like, because it feels like I got something that I had no idea for my life mm -hmm. that I was that way. Yeah. So, but now that I know it, it I can work on it. Yeah, right. and you, you know, catch yourself yeah. when you're doing it, so you can correct it. Absolutely. And he does work so on it. Yeah. He does work yeah. on it. Yeah. Not another edition, but after the break, yeah. we had a commercial break because we got those sponsors and advertisers we were talking about. So welcome back, and we're about to jump into some of the questions that were asked here today. No yes. Problem. So we want to get you guys' opinion. Um, the first one is, is there true monogamy in a relationship? Huh. Well, I take this. Oh, 
good. Okay, That's good. 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 Yeah, it's true. Monogamy in relationships. Yeah. I don't know how to uh, like, expand on it. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, that's, it just is, it, just, just yes, okay, I think is. he has a little bit he wants to explain. Yeah, because he said, well. Well, yeah. no, no, I, I think that, I think that there is, I think that there's, there are and there's not. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, I think that everybody has their own dynamic. Yeah, right. So I think that people, people can uh, make their relationship whatever they want it to, to right. be and whatever's perfect for them. So, right. I mean, is there? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. what we call it is the agreements that you make within your relationship so are yeah. unique to you yes. and your it's like whatever you guys talk about and negotiate and compromise on, that's what it is. And every relationship is different. So I think it's important to say that because I yeah. think a lot of times people watch other couples and think that there's just this one way to have a relationship. Right. That's exactly what I'm saying. And it really is not. It's because <laughs> yeah. everybody's yeah. our relationship is successful. Y'all yeah. are successful, yeah, yeah, but you yeah. know what? It's probably not the same. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's not the Precisely. same. So yeah. uh, I, I, I do want to add that uh, we we went to a counselor. It's okay to go to counseling. It's, okay. it's, 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 it's <laughs> therapy is Say it great. Again. Yeah, it's Say it again. Great. Therapy yeah, is great. great. So we went and we uh, we talked to him and uh, and we were talking. And he he asked us the question: Do we believe in monogamy? And and we were like, Well, yeah, you know, yeah, of course, of course. And then he goes, uh, he goes, Well, some people would challenge that we were we weren't made to be monogamous. And what do you think about? And and and, 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 and I don't I don't necessarily agree or disagree with them, but I do understand what he was trying to get at. You know what I mean? Everybody's made different. Right. And and I, I do think that when you get with a partner, I think it's okay to talk about those things. You well, know what I mean? I think, I think and, I, and, I, and I will say this, with him asking you that question, when it comes to monogamy, I also believe it, it definitely can work, and it does work, yeah. but I also know that monogamy is not natural. Right. And that, it's and not. That's, that's it's just not, we're not built to be monogamous. Right. That's it's really a society norm, yes, and it's what, what we're yes. supposed to do. So it, it takes work yes. to be monogamous. Right. You go against everything that, that's natural to right. right. so, right. so we were we were out the other night with another couple, mm -hmm. and we were at Swinging Richards. And for uh -oh. those who, those of you who don't know, Swinging Richards is a strip club. Right. When they can't get their penis on hard, so that's why swings. swinging. Um, <laughs> that's swinging. I didn't know that. Yeah, that's, that's what swinging. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Richard, At least yeah. that's how we interpret yeah, it. Right. And so, <laughs> and, you know, to transparent, and I'm not ashamed to say, I love strippers. G loves strippers. We have that in common. We negotiated that in the beginning. <laughs> of the <laughs> the you know what? I want to laugh, Sam. I can't right. be with your ass. Right. right. But, um, <laughs> but we were with another couple, and they said to us. Oh my God! You let him get a lap dance, yeah. or oh my God, you can, can call someone some, cute, yeah. or oh my God, you can say someone is attractive, yeah. and and I was dumbfounded, baffled. I was, I had no words because I said, of course. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? It's so funny that you say that because we'll, we'll be together for eight years and a couple of months, mm -hmm. but it took us five years to actually say that we were okay with mm -hmm. the other person saying somebody was attractive. But, but at the same time, it wasn't that I didn't know that he didn't think somebody was attractive. Because right. he has a sister, and he'll look at somebody and he'll say, he would be good for her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he thinks that's that passive aggressive. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then me, I would be like, do you see his shoes? <laughs> yeah, he'll talk about the shoes, and then that means. And he was, and he, and he was barefoot. Yeah. Okay. And so, you know, so, it's interesting that yeah. you say that because I, I think that it does take time to have that openness in a relationship. Yeah. Because you have to be secure within your relationship. When you yeah. date for somebody for three, six months, a year, yeah. two years, yeah. you yeah. still feel some sort of yeah. threat there. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think it takes time because it, it took a time because I, I can't say that I was absolutely comfortable with one talking about somebody cute or somebody's yeah. ass or whatever. But the stripper oh, thing. We were that was we, day we one. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. Because I mean, <laughs> I gotta have my strippers. Yeah. You know, a stripper was never. That's just <laughs> entertainment. But just like well, random. No, I, I, I you know what I mean? Right. So I think it's important I mean, that um, yeah. people understand that because we still are human. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So why not yeah. talk about yeah. how we feel anyway? Yeah. 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 You know, whatever we do with that information, we go from there. But yeah. talk about it. What right. I what I love about the whole thing is that I think the reason why we are and you guys didn't. Was a respect factor. There's, there's yeah. a respect in the beginning that you like. You just don't want to cross that line. You right. know how to push your partner's yeah, buttons. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what not to do. Yeah. So, but as you get deep into the relationship, mm -hmm. you More understand. Yeah, that we're both human, and yeah. we can we can be best friends because we can talk about yeah. those kind of things. Yeah, and that's what you do with your best yeah, friends. I, oh, 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 yeah, sorry, I don't want to cut you off. No, because I was another question that um, 
popped into my head. That'll be good because I, I, I was just thinking that because you have to realize that if you, after you get for a long time and a long time relationship, it's not every day you wake up and I don't, every day I don't get up and tell oh, you're just like the most beautiful person right. I've ever met in my life. <laughs> right. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, I know it's, that's not reality, yeah. but that's you know what reality. though? What I, is, I think it's yeah. important that what you do say, and I'm, I'm going to ask you this question. No matter what I go through with Juan, yeah. and we go through some shit, because he's a hothead, right? <laughs> so, but I never wake up and think that I don't want to be with right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hate his ass in the morning yeah. sometimes. Yeah. yeah. But it's never like, well, I want to be a strong this word. Nah. Okay. Or just and like, I'm all whatever. about words. <laughs> I'm all about Watch words. That word. Watch that word. Yeah. Watch that word. This is true, though. No, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely true. So, my question was, though, um, you mentioned best friends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We can be best friends. And yesterday, we co hosted a Kings versus Queens panel discussion, which was basically masculine gay men versus feminine gay men, and sparking a dialogue on the stigmas and how we treat each other. And one of the queens said, I don't want to kiki with my man. <laughs> and what you said was the antithesis of that yeah, statement. Yeah, you know, yeah. my man is my best friend. Yeah. So what do you feel like, the, why is there such a disparity? I mean, because people look at you and say, you're masculine, you're a king, uh -huh. but you will both of you. Thank you. You know? So, why is it... Is that okay? a compliment? <laughs> <laughs> I always like to be... I always, I always wanted to be a king. Right. Just oh, that is a king. Yeah, yeah so me I think too. It's, it's it's somebody refer you as a king. So, yeah. what, what do you think about his statement about, I don't want to kiki with my man, or gender no. roles um, within no. a relationship? How I does just, that play out with you? We don't we don't play into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think I think in the beginning, you know, we might use, you know, in the beginning, I think that everybody you get your representative. We always say yeah. when you meet somebody, you meet the representative, you meet the best side of them. Right. You know, and, and it might be a little more, you know, yo, what's up? You know, it, it, it might <laughs> right. be more of those. A little things. more <laughs> yeah, what's up, like, yo? I'm the kid, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What it do. So then after that, but then you start to really know the person. Yeah. And then I think that that's the best one. I could see him dance to Beyonce. Or, or do the, I When I can see him do the single ladies dance, that, that makes me so happy because I feel like you're really being a, yeah. yourself. And right. you can't you know be I mean? that comfortable. And, I, and, and, and it's yeah. just as attractive to me as the other stuff. And it and doesn't you, make you less messy. It master. doesn't make you the less messy. Yeah. And you still a king. He's yeah. still a king. Yeah. 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 I repeat you everything Beyonce. you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So with that being said, let's take another break because I want to ask you guys one more question and then we'll go. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, so we're back. Hope you like that message from our phantom sponsor. Um, <laughs> we have one final question, and it's a question from the audience. Well, it's not really an audience, but just another person who's here. The audience. The, but it's yeah. a, they're at the party. Clap, the audience! <laughs> they're here, they're here, they're here. So Tyler has a question. Um, how do you justify having a third party in your relationship, and is it still considered monogamy in the relationship? I don't think, from, I mean, I, speaking for me, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how to justify any, I don't, I don't know how to justify anything. Like, I can't justify, but I can't say that, you know, uh, what you do for your relationship, I, it's got to work for you, you know what I mean? Right. Like, it's yeah, not, it's, it's not, I don't, I don't know if it's, uh, thanks audience, yeah, I don't know if that's monogamy, I don't know if it's. I don't know what it feels like. Polygamy. Polygamy. I don't know what that is. But if it works for you, and I, and I don't, you know, the Polyamorous. funny part about it, I think people always ask us because I think that they think that this is a gay issue, that gay gay uh, men do this. Right, you know right, what I mean? Right. And it's not. It's a relationship right. issue. I think yeah. that you have straight couples that um, that want to feel adventurous mm -hmm. and, and may Singers. bring in a third, third party. And that is on them. That is their relationship, and that's how they deal with it. 
Now, whether they call it monogamy or whether they call it an open relationship, I don't know what the labels are. It does, I, you I, know. I don't know how to label it. It's just like, like, like the matter. first. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, that's I, what I was about to say. Like yeah. the, my first thought was, does it need to be justified? Right, right. Yeah. Like for yeah. who? Who needs yeah. to justify? This, it? And then so, this right. is my. But point. everybody needs. And this is what we talked about in therapy too. Exactly. Yeah. We talked about this. That uh, perfect is people. People define perfect as something different. But perfect for us in for relation, it should be relationship. Is anything like what Juan said? And she said what you have agreed to and that's what mm -hmm. that's what perfect is mm -hmm. you know perfect isn't like romeo and juliet perfect is like this is what we agreed to so it's perfect because this is what we agreed to so that's what and, and i think that infidelity if you will comes when you break those agreements outside, yeah. Of, yeah. Yeah. Right. outside yeah. of whatever agreement yeah. it is whatever yeah. it is and yeah. it, no matter how small or large the agreement yeah. is that's I, all that's I, I know it's gonna be crazy but if you agree to sleep with three donkeys Mm -hmm. And you then you decide to sleep with a dog and you cheat on the person like you cheat on me because you cheated with the dog. Exactly. Right. Not that you said donkeys. donkeys. You didn't yeah. like you didn't right. like dogs. Right. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. But that's right. what you agreed to. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that that's to put it in like a, a really broad perspective. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And that's perfect. And I agree. And I feel yeah. like as as people, as in, as the black culture, and then even break it down, gay, we're too caught up on labels. Yeah, are you a top or a bottom or verse? Are yeah. you this? And once I put you in this box, that's if it. you if you stray any type of way, I don't want yeah. you no more. So, I guess this is a good question. Yeah. How fluid yeah. or elastic, if you will, do you feel, and not just sexual, your being human being yeah. is, and how do you reconcile that within your relationship? Are you asking us who's the top or the bottom? No, no, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, I'm not saying it's not no, sexual. No, I'm, I'm it's playing, saying I'm the playing, fluidity, fluidity yeah. of life, and you know how. Like when I met G, I was, I had strict, and I was like, I'm not, never gonna do blah 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 blah. But you know, as I grow as a person, those yeah. things change. Yeah, and I'm a and it's up to him so too. I just what I wanted, I <laughs> and, it's a, and, and how he navigates <laughs> my growth is, yeah. is important to our relationship. Right. It's like yeah. how I navigate his. Yeah. So how do y'all navigate each other's growth within the relationship? And you did it. You did it. Right on the yeah. Nail. yeah. I think it's just one of those things that in a relationship you get a chance to explore your wildest fantasies or things mm -hmm. you thought you were not going to do. Mm -hmm. So this is your opportunity to just be like, okay, let's try this, let's try that. And I think, you know, that's it's, the best it's, part of it. It's yeah. important to speak yeah. up. Yeah, yeah because if, 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 you, yeah, if you're not growing, y'all ain't growing. Yeah. Right. And, and, I, and I think that you guys have to recognize that you're not going to be the same person you were seven years ago. Mm -hmm. right. So, um, And if yeah. you are, there's and a problem. And you shouldn't want to yeah. be. You know, if you are, there's a problem, there's yeah. a problem. with us. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. Everybody's growing, the relationship's growing, so you just have to keep checking in and say, this is where I'm at today. Yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. Okay, last so, question. Thank you, because we only have 30 seconds. I know, so last we question. Because like we have to ask the couples this. <laughs> yeah. How do you make love work? Oh, uh, I think... Uh, he listens to what I say. <laughs> <laughs> so no. you're a lot like Warren. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, th I, think, I think, you know, it's... it's, it's being best friends, being, be, you know, above, we're not gonna like each other, we're not gonna, you know, feel like kissing every day, but we have, have, have made an agreement to be together and to be each other's best friends and do anything. I love that, we don't feel like kissing every day. We don't feel like kissing every day. But I'm gonna kiss you, but my lips are gonna be hard. Right, right. It's gonna be hard. Relax those lips. Relax those lips. I'm like, relax those lips. I know you got an attitude. Relax those lips. But we want to thank these guys for being on with us. It's been such a pleasure. I love you guys. Love you too. So, and we will have you definitely have you on again. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, Please share our videos. Share it. Love you. I'm the jam. 2014. <laughs>
At the end of the day, we are just like everybody else. We are Juan and G. I'm Point kidding. blank. 